For our experiment, we will test to see if we can classically condition Mr. Bateman. Our neutral stimulus will be the sound of a text message notification. We will be using an unconditional stimulus of Kayla hitting Mr. Bateman with a pencil. After, we will see his unconditioned response. We will then do several trials of Kayla hitting Mr. Bateman, which is our conditioned stimulus. His reactions to the multiple trials are his conditioned responses. Hopefully, our goal is to classically condition Mr. Bateman to react to the sound of a text message notification without hitting him. Just when they to get there. Um, what was that for? <laughs> <laughs> what? What? I'm out of attacking you. <laughs> this would come down here. <laughs> you have a white sweatshirt on. No. The hey, hey! For cause? No, just what it would do. You, from <laughs> one to five. What did we do? Let's look at this here, so. <laughs> I was watching for it, too. Dude, you're literally a bully. <laughs> I'm sorry. Can my mom stop texting? <laughs> Aggressive. Shifts. This is the horizontal. This is the vertical shift. <laughs> Charger. <laughs> I'm sorry. What is he getting? Oh no. Now I got reach. Now I got reach. Just watched me and Emma classically condition Mr. Bayman to react to a text notification after we hit him a couple times. And his unconditional response to the notification ding was nothing, and he just continued helping me with my work. But after some, you know, torment, Mr. Bateman started being very um, aggressive towards me, and that ultimately turned into his conditioned response. So in the end, me hitting him with the pencil, which was the unconditioned stimulus, after the notification sound, which was the neutral stimulus, conditioned him to hit me right away, condition response after hearing the ding which turned into the condition stimulus so yeah